Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my unboxing and quick review of the Infinix Note 6. This year, it looks like there is only one version and it comes with a stylus. You have some of the specs on the box. When we open the box, we are greeted with a smartphone. Let's go ahead and peel out the sticker on the back and on the front. We have a black color here, it also comes in blue and champagne gold. Let's power it on and set it aside for now. We have an envelope that houses the SIM ejector tool, the x Club card, X Pen user guide and your user manual where you can see all the 4G LTE bands that it supports. You get a film screen protector and a clear silicon gel case. Let's see how well it fits. On the bottom compartment, we get a quick charger, a micro USB cable, and a pair of earphones. On the front, you have a 6 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 18 by 9 aspect ratio. On top of that display, you have a 16 megapixel camera with flash, a front firing speaker, a notification LED. On the back, you have a 16 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel wide angle lens, and a 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing with dual flash. You also get a fingerprint sensor and some Infinix branding. On the left, you have a SIM tray that houses two 4G LTE nano SIMs and an SD card. On the right, you have a power button and volume rocker. On top of the device, there's nothing. On the bottom, you have your X-Pen housing, your speaker, a micro USB port, microphone, and a 3.5mm headphone jack. A year later, an Infinix has stuck to the unibody design with antenna bands and the metal build from the Note 4 Pro and Note 5 stylus. They've added some gold accents around the frame and fingerprint sensor on the black variant to differentiate it. This one does feel incredibly light compared to the previous models, a bit of a fingerprint magnet too. Putting them side by side, you can see that while the display size is the same, it is smaller on all sides and thinner than the Note 5 stylus. That's cause they have shaved off some of those bezels and chain, but this is still considered big in 2019. They've gone from one to a triple camera setup on the back. Everything else is looking pretty identical on the design front. What's new to the Note series is that AMOLED display which produces punchy and accurate colors, not too contrasty which is great for all your media consumption. The screen is bright outdoors and responsive to type 1 and it's got great viewing angles. By now we all know what the X-Pen is all about from the Note 5 Stylus review. It is the same X-Pen, same size, you have a single button for calling out the menu. As with the Note 5 Stylus, taking out the X-Pen from the lock screen calls out your lock screen memo feature. I showed all of this in my Note 5 Stylus review and I'll be leaving the card up above for you to learn all about it. If I discover new features, I'll be including it in my full review. The base model of the Note 6 is 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. You get about 54 gigs available to use. It ships with Android 9 Pie and XOS Cheetah version 5.0 slapped on top of it. This means that it's not on the Android 1 program and you can tell by the launcher, the bloatware and quick settings that a lot on the inside aren't the same. On the quick settings, we can see a switch for Dirac mode which is indicative of Dirac speakers. You also get screen record and the whole shebang. In the display settings, what's new here is that we now have always on display options to choose from. It does make sense to do this on an AMOLED display which doesn't drain the battery that much as each pixel is individually lit. About the performance, this uses the Helio P35 Octa-Core CPU clocked at 2.3GHz, same one on the Phantom 9 and it performs likewise. I tested the fingerprint sensor, it only takes a tap to unlock but with half a second delay, pretty fast but not the fastest we've seen. The face unlock is fast, though not as secure. Speaking of fast, it does support fast charging with a fast charger included in the box, which takes your battery from 0 to 70% under one hour. I put the triple AI camera to test and here are some of the photos I took. I compared the camera with the Note 5 stylus I think there's a slight improvement in quality and skin tones for the selfie camera. I got to test out the Animojis, pretty cool if you're into that sort of thing. It records videos in 1080p for the back and front camera. Currently shooting on the selfie camera of the Infinix Note 6 and this is what the audio sounds like. The Infinix Note 6 is still catering to the many potential and current stylus users on the budget who don't care much for what's popular but the versatility of it. It's got one half of the 2019 makeover in the way of a triple camera setup but the design is not a huge leap from the Note 5 stylus. 
if you don't care much for the Android One or the Note 5 stylus and always prefer all the native tools without installing third-party apps plus a better camera, it might be worth the upgrade. I will be dropping a full review soon talking about the X Pen, battery life and performance on this guy so hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified when that video drops. Thanks for watching and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.